some of the critics of uh, biotech crops have said that they have not delivered any benefits. So now, 14 years later, after the first introduction of biotech crops in 1996, we can look at the facts, a reality check. And what we see is that there are four benefits that have occurred over the last 14 years. The first is increase in productivity, which has driven increased income for farmers, which in fact has also benefit consumers because the price of food is lower than it would have been had we not employed biotech crops. That impact in terms of increased productivity is worth approximately $52 billion over the period 1996 to 2008. Now, if in fact you can increase productivity on the current land that we have under crops, which is 1.5 billion hectares, you can also do something else that is very important. You can decrease the probability that parts of the Amazon forest will be felled in Indonesia. So this may be one of the few occasions where you can have your cake and eat it. One side of the coin is to increase productivity and income. The flip side of the coin is to protect biodiversity. We lose 13 million hectares of tropical forest in the developing countries every year. The second contribution is to the environment. We've seen a huge decrease in pesticide application. That's equivalent to 50% of the pesticides that you apply to a crop like cotton, which is the major consumer on a global basis. The other contribution to the environment is that it has allowed us to save water and CO2, carbon dioxide, greenhouse gases. And what we see here is that conservation tillage with biotech crops has allowed you to conserve water. How come? The new technology allows you to produce crops without plowing. When you don't plow and harrow, you conserve water. There's also been savings in terms of greenhouse gases, which is equivalent to taking 7 million cars off the road. And last but not least, there has been social benefits. Increases in crop productivity for small poor farmers has allowed us to contribute to the alleviation of poverty. It's important to look at the benefits of this technology as seen by the farmers that use it. In India, in the villages which use biotech cotton, what we see is that women get more attention with at-home births. A higher percentage of their children go to school. Higher percentage of vaccination. So if you ask a woman in India what has been the benefit of BT cotton, she will tell you that this has led to a better quality of life. If you ask a woman in KwaZulu-Natal what are the benefits of BT cotton, what she will tell you is that this technology has meant that she no longer has to spend one whole day spraying a hectare of cotton. It is a time-saving technology, time that she needs to look after the children, to look after the family. In Africa, 80% of the food, feed and fiber is produced by women. This technology, in BT cotton, for example, allows the number of sprays to be cut by half. The number of days spent spraying insecticides in the heat of the day by 50% and is a, is a, a time-saving technology for farmers at the ground level. Thank you.